All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say, Kahala Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rikaku Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Blessings to the whole full elect, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. Right? Uh, yeah, I just did a sit down, man. Hey, the spirit on me to go into this other one, man, because I want to talk about. There was points that I made in previous sit downs that I didn't really hit home on, and I wanted to expound on. So I'm a little willing if the spirit. You know, was dealing with me on this topic, man. I'm going to try and knock out a few precepts that I've got lined up here and, 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 and feed the flock with it, man. Because the scriptures speak about let all um, things be done unto edification. All right. Now, the word edif uh, to edify means to build. All right. We're, we're looking to build up you brothers, man. You know, and, 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 and in ourselves, first and foremost, because the scripture says, what? Seek your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. Now, we're supposed to be doing this thing in sincerity. That means what? When the Lord said to Peter... Peter, do you love me? Three times he asked him, do you love me? Peter said to him, yes, I love you, Lord. He said, if you love me, feed my sheep, you know? So that's what we're supposed to be doing. So without further ado, you know, I'm looking through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to feed, feed the sheep, man, you know? This is Habakkuk 2 and 12. It says, woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity, man. And I can only be talking about in this time and day and age, all right? That we're living in now, that's talking about the so-called white man. Because how was his kingdom established, man? All right, through the bloods of the Israelites, man. The blood of the Israelites, the no uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, being put on cargo slave ships, getting the getting the shit whipped the hell out of them, man. You know, uh, uh, uh ripping Jake, literally ripping them in half, tying them up to two horses and letting them go to uh, both which ways, man. All right, that's how the so-called white man had built up his society. Didn't tell us that we were Israelites. Came to us with that white Christianity. With that fucking Jesus. Uh, Jesus Christ. Alright. Came to us with that. Uh, 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 as them Puritans man. You know. Didn't let us read. Didn't want us to read. Because before that. We hey, we knew that we were Israelites man. We were, we used to speak Hebrew man. But what. That, that's a. Hey, that's that's uh, prophecy. Because the scripture said in Jeremiah 14 and uh, 17. If I can get that. Jeremiah 17 and 4. It says, and thou even thou thyself shall discontinue from the heritages that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. And that's the reason why we're in captivity to this day. Because we transgressed the Heavenly Father's laws. Alright, now we've, look man, now we've discontinued from our heritage, man. They done burnt all our records. They don't, they, they beat the fact that we were Israelites out of us. But you know, through the Spirit... And power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right. Barakat Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. He's now woken us up to the fact that we're Israelites, and now we're calling upon that name, and that's spiritual, man. All right. The Lord has done that, and the Lord says, "What, man? Uh, uh, he seals the instructions in in the dream uh, while we're while we're asleep, all right. And and man's goings are of the Lord. So the Lord had woken up the elders and the apostles, all right, to actually uh, to this truth, to actually bring us back to the fact that we're actually Israelites, man. And here we are. We're uh, furthering on that tradition Continuing the things which we've learned And now we're feeding the flock With that same cause in mind Okay So let's go back to Habakkuk 2 and 12 Woe to him that uh, Build up a town with blood And establish a city uh, By iniquity man Alright And that's talking about Esau's society Esau's kingdom Alright Now when you go into um, I can get numbers real quick <clears throat> This is numbers Chapter 35, verse 33, it says, So you shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed but by the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it, man. We were the ones that have been heaving and hoeing and reaping down your, your fields, man. All right? And you ain't, you, you ain't, we ain't benefited off of, the, off of that, man. All right? So that goes to show you, hey, but the, the, the blood that you've shed, all right, the way that you've established your city through that iniquity, hey, you, it can't be cleansed but by the blood of him that shed it. And that's why there's a recompense that's coming. Let's get another point to bring that home. Another precept to bring that point home. Genesis 9 and 6. It says, Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. All right, so that's the payment, man. You build your town up in a bloody manner, hey, your blood is going to be shed, man. All right, and you're ruling over us in unrighteousness, man. And furthermore, You've taken the Bible up on yourself because you call America a God-fearing country, man. But then you go and legalize gay marriage across all your states, man. 
Therefore, you shall be judged. And there ain't going to be no escape, man. So let's get, um, <clears throat> let's get the next precept. I'm going to go to Amos chapter 9. In fact, let me go to James first. Then we jump to Amos. This is James chapter 5, verse 4. Behold, the hire of the laborers which have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud. All right. Crieth and the cries. In fact, look, let me break that down. The, uh, the, the laborers that have reaped down your fields, man. All right. Through what? Through means of slavery, man. All right. For you uh, ruling with an iron fist, so to speak. All right. Separating us from our families, man. Beating our heritage out of us, man. All right. Not giving us an inheritance, man. Okay. Branding us, putting a yoke of iron upon us, man. Shedding our blood. That's what you did to us, man. And you ain't, we ain't seen a dime of that, man. We ain't seeing shit. Yeah, we get fucking paycheck. Where at the same time, you cut, you raise taxes. Inflation occurs. All right, you, you got a pay rise. What the fuck? There's a pay rise, man. When inflation's constantly going up, man. The price of fucking uh, spinach and all your daily sustenance, a loaf of bread keeps going up. But at the same time, your pay rise is, uh, you get a pay rise from work. Hey, man, we're still in the same situation. All right? Whereas you, you so-called white people, you get inheritance, man. You get land inheritance and shit through your fathers leading it down, uh, giving it down onto you, man. But then you get crackers that come up to the camps talking about, but it wasn't us that put you in slavery. But hey, man, you're reaping the benefits of that, man. And we got news for you. It was you because reincarnation is in the scriptures, man. All right? So you were back there putting us in slavery, man. And you're still reaping the benefits of the blood that we have, that has been, of the Israelites that have been shed to build up your kingdom, you we've ripped down your fields and you ain't giving you ain't giving shit to us. So we're gonna have to what? The scripture says the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom, but we ain't gonna do it now because we're gonna wait upon the Lord. Alright, and Lord willing, we bring that out in a minute. It says James 5 and 4: Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth. And that's the spirit you're supposed to be in, man. You're supposed to be in the spirit of sighing and crying, man. Here it is, you work fucking, sometimes Jake work three, four, three, four jobs on a truck, man. But they're still fucking broke. All right? Can't, you know, just getting by. One paycheck away from being homeless, man. Literally. All right? The so-called white man keeps us down, keeps us oppressed, man. You can't deny, man. You know? And it says, and the cries of them which have reaped, all right? The cries of them which have reaped, right? All right? The laborers, man. The ones that have constantly been toiling and toiling day and night, man. All right? Picking your cotton fields, man. How about that? Literally shedding blood. Our blood literally soaked up that soil, man. All right? Can you imagine being in a hot sun, not being given any water, dehydrated as hell, picking cotton from a from a, uh, from a a four-year-old or sometimes even younger? A little child all up into a fucking young-ass man. You can't even live out your life because you, you they worked you to the fucking bone, man. What, did, what, of that, what of that cotton picking did you ever fucking reap, man? And it's the same thing today, man. And they're living lavish now. And now you've got the wealth gap, which is so insane. All right. Which is so insane. And it's getting larger and larger. And you think that we ain't got something to complain about. But then you talk about Auschwitz and you talk about fucking Hitler and all of that. But then you get your reparations. The so-called white man, these Jews, Amalek, they get billions or trillions a month. Right, because of what happened to them. But we don't get shit, though. What about the Trail of Tears? What about the Native American Indians? They don't get shit. Cristobal Colon discovered the Americas, apparently discovered something that was already discovered, but they don't get anything. And that's what it, that's what it says. Well, it says the, 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 the laborers that have reaped down your fields of you kept back by fraud, man, because it was fraud. The thief cometh for, not for, for to steal and to kill and to destroy, man. And that's the MO of the so-called white man. You know, it says... The, uh, the cries of them which are reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth, man. That's the Lord of the armies, man. All right? Because the Lord is a man of war. And the Lord is going to come back and he's going to fuck you up, man. All right? The, he said, I ain't going to meet thee as a man. That's how the Lord is coming back. So let's get, let's get another preset, man. Okay? Amos. <laughs> it's lucky. Fucking hay fever. Amos 9 and 13. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper. Right? Let me read that again. Damn, hay fever, man. Salakia, brothers. 
Uh, keep that tissue on deck. And it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper. Right? So there's going to come a time where the ones that have reaped down your fields are going to literally overtake you. All right? And that's prophecy, man. And that's coming. And that hasn't happened yet. So there's going to come a time where the plowman is going to overtake the reaper, man. You know? Let me get Jeremiah 22 and 13. This is another good one. Woe to him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness. All right? You can't tell me that Christopher Cologne weren't, uh, weren't unrighteous, man. You can't tell me that that was a righteous act. All right? How are you going to come over there, sell over there in a boat, and fucking rob, rape, and, 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 and steal everything that they had, man? All right? The Native American Indians, man. You know? You're going to come to the interiors of Africa, west coast of Africa, round up all the Jake, make a covenant with these fucking heathens, sell us on, put, put us on cargo of slave ships, having us chained up, shitting on each other, man, pissing on each other, man. Jake rather rather jump off a damn boat and, and get eaten by sharks than to go into slavery under you so-called white people, man. You can't tell me that that was fucking righteous, man. It says, it says, and his chambers by wrong. Let me read that again. Woe to him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness and his chambers by wrong that useth his neighbor's service without wages, man. And that's fucking, that's what slavery is, man. That's what slavery was, man, to us. When you put us in slavery, you didn't pay us shit, man. Then you tried to cut, you know, oh, Abraham Lincoln abolished slavery. Fuck that shit. That wasn't shit. That shit wasn't abolished, man. Then you had them Jim Crow laws that got ushered in after that. The KKK, Jake's getting lynched. Anything that we tried to do for ourselves, you tried, you came in, you, you know, you kept us separate from you, man. All right, you, you bombed Black Wall Street. You've done all of these things to us, man. You constantly, you're still shedding blood through means of the sword, man. Jake constantly getting shot down by the paddy rollers in the streets over in America, man. Over here in London, getting choked out, Eric Garner. So don't try and tell me that, that, that you know, everything's all peace and love and harmony and everything's equal, man. This ain't equality, bro. Alright? The law says what? Woe to him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness and his chambers by wrong. It was wrong what you did, man. Okay? That useth his neighbor's service without wages... And giveth him not for his work. And you gave us nothing for our work, man. Alright, but ultimately we know it goes into the curses. We under the curses because we transgress the laws of the Heavenly Father. But it still don't make it right, man. It still don't make it right. You still gonna pay, man. Okay, in fact. Let me get that. This is First Thessalonians. And we gonna close out on this, man. I don't know if it's too long. First Thessalonians 1 and 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And so it was wrong what you did. So that recompense for what you have done is going to come back and return upon your own head, man. The scripture says, render unto her double, double according to her works, man. So whatever you did to us, we're going to do to you, man. When you threw our babies in the air for fun and caught them on the tips of your spears, when you dangled them off sticks and fed them to alligators for gator bait for your gator shoes... All right, when you did that to us, when you shut in Jake's mouth and taped it up and left it shit in their mouth for hours, when you did that and, and thought it was fun, tarred and feathered Jake, butt broke them, raped them in front of their in front of their children, in front of their wives. When you raped us in front of our wives, man, made made us you literally broke us down, made us sleep with our own mothers. That's where you get the term motherfucker from. And then sent us out on the, on, 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 on the fields to go and work for you, man. You think there ain't going to be a recompense for that, man? You fucking, you sadly mistaken, man. Okay? Alright? There's something called balance, man. And the Lord is not the A. The Lord's not the author of confusion. A, and a, 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 a just weight is his delight. A false balance is, is an abomination to the Lord. So that balance is coming. Trust me, man. You're going to get that recompense. This is James 2 and 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy... That have showed no mercy. Right? You didn't show us no mercy then. So we ain't going to show you no mercy when our kingdom uh, arises, man. When you put in slavery, man. And then after that thousand years of slavery that you serve. You're going to be gathered into a pit. And we definitely ain't going to show you no mercy, man. We ain't going to be no need for the wicked in the kingdom, man. We're going to burn you, man. Okay? It says. It says. Uh, judgment without mercy. That have showed no mercy. 
And mercy rejoiceth against judgment, man. You didn't show us no mercy. And we're going to rejoice against the, on the judgment that's going to be played out on you so-called white people in the kingdom, man. Hell, we down there rejoice when something happens to you right now, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. That's why we're cursing. We curse you all the time, man. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Abad Babar, man. We, wait, Abad Adawam. We curse you every fucking day. It's righteous to put curses on you, man. Because you put hell on our people, man. And you other nations, man. You ain't going to escape. All right? So with that, man, you know, Lord willing, you are king, but edified. Hey, but I ain't saying, look, man. I said, look, earlier I made a statement. The saints of the Lord shall take the kingdom. But what did I say? We ain't going to do it now. I said, oh, if the spirit wills, I'm going to bring this precept out. You know? And I just remembered. So let me get this. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. And indignation means righteous anger, man, righteous judgment, okay? For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy, man. And that's coming. And that ain't happened yet, man. The Lord, hey, the Lord is about to make his return and he ain't going to meet you as a man, Esau, man. So yeah, tremble in fear, man. You know, you made no account of our labors, man. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. All right? You're going to be troubled with, with terrible fear, man. All right? You made no account of our labors and that recompense is coming, man. And that blood that was shed, it's going to be cleansed by the blood of him that shed it, man. Trust me. Thus saith the Lord. So, Kahala Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Bashem Rakakudash, I'm going to say Shalom.